Thank you for being with us tonight. The privatization of health care in Ontario could soon be a possibility. In the midst of a public health crisis, seeing staff shortages and hospital closures, the Ford government has been under the fire here at Queen's Park once again over what is being done to fix the system. Here's what Health Minister Sylvia Jones had to say today. All of the changes that we are looking at, the ones that we haven't already implemented, we're making sure that as a system, it's not going to hurt or impact another part of the uh, health care. Will that Continue. system remain a public system, first and foremost? Look, we've always had a public health care system in the province of Ontario, and we will continue to. Are we looking at options? Absolutely. With that, the door has been left open for a different model of health care while doors are closing to emergency rooms at hospitals. When pressed, Health Minister Sylvia Jones wouldn't rule out privatizing health care in the province, saying only that the government plans on being innovative in its approach. There are jurisdictions in other parts of Canada, in the world, that have other opportunities that we're going to look at. And all of those suggestions are being considered and studied by our ministry to make sure that as the suggestions come forward, again, I will say they don't impact unduly another part of the uh, health care continuum. The staffing crisis among doctors and nurses leaving the profession after being overworked through COVID has led to directives to try and register new ones quicker. But opposition leaders at Queen's Park say there's reason why there's now a code blue. Before we even think about looking at options like that, we need to make sure that our healthcare system is functioning the best that it can. And what has happened under the last few years under the Ford government is it has been consistently and successively undermined every step of the way. It's a fairly standard thing for Conservatives when they want to undermine a public institution to create a crisis, underfund it, frustrate people, and then say, well, obviously the public sector doesn't work. We need to have private sector running this. Now, question period resumed here at Queen's Park today as well. And as you might imagine, Premier Ford was facing questions about the health care crisis right away. This before the minister spoke later in the morning. Ford agreed more nurses are needed, but the NDP continues to argue for Bill 124 to be repealed so they can be paid more.